So even though you're working in your profession and you're enjoying what you do, never be close-minded to different avenues. Jeth and Cyberland coming back to another real estate video and on this one I'm pretty much discussing um, different avenues so up until a couple months ago I used to do open house every day day in and day out every day I would take one day off based on my discussion with my mentor and I would just wait for people to show up to open house and then recently I met with some people in the office and they gave me a different approach on how to do open house to where I'm spending less time doing that and spending more time doing things that are not, not more productive, but just in a sense to help me get more traction at an open house as opposed to where I was only getting like maybe five groups get like 15. And not once was I ever against the idea or was I inclined to be like, eh, no, I don't think this is going to work. I was just like, okay, let's do it. Why? Because at the end of the day, through life, we have these situations where it's never just a straight road. Kind of have some grooves in the road. Sometimes you make a left turn. And I don't know why I said left when I'm going right, but at least from your end, it's left. Or sometimes you go up and down, scribble, scrabble kind of thing, and go in a circle before you go straight down the road again. So what that means in a sense is that there's going to be times where in your profession or your life, you want to be successful at what you're doing. However, there can also be some different things you can pull that can help you get to your destination either quicker or um, in the process make you better. Another thing is to say is <laughs> um, when you're cooking, for example, you know, for, for me, um, the last time I made spaghetti, uh, I would normally just make a batch for, you know, for the week. You know, we get our sausages, get our peppers, Onions, the sugar. Yes, sugar goes in Italian spaghetti. Okay. From from people I have talked to that make that. You know, we got our paste, tomato paste, uh, tomato sauce, a cup, you know, some ground beef, or whatever you, lamb, you could do that too. And I would make it for a week. And then I tried a different avenue, or tried a different approach where I would still do the same thing, but I'd make more. Why? Because I have all these ingredients, why not utilize all of them and then freeze the rest of it and save it for, you know, later down the road. And now I know it's just your it's just spaghetti sauce, but the point is you find things that can help your business or help your personal life, but it doesn't stop you from getting to your goal. It just helps make you better on the way to the finish line of that goal, whichever that may be. Whereas incorporating a different workout routine or incorporating it, or for me, when it comes to practicing my guitar, adding um, a thing that I learned about a spider technique where I use each finger up and down the fretboard as opposed to just palm muting practice or um, doing a scale. So that's one thing I've done. Uh, same thing can be said for, uh, you know, what you're eating um, or if you already have good dialogue with people, just adding something into the dialogue that you normally don't do that makes you better at your craft. It's just finding things that, you know, make you better. So, yeah. 
Well, anyway, <laughs> with that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.